everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a video all about my favorite lip formulas. So this includes drugstore and high-end. I really like having a mixture of that just because when I'm watching a video and all I see are really expensive items or, you know, maybe less expensive items. I like having that variety personally, so that's why I wanted to do that in today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, and let's go ahead and get started. I included everything from balms all the way to glosses because I think that without the proper lip care, a lipstick is not gonna look good on you. And the what I like to do every single night is wear a lip mask to bed. I'm currently out of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but that is my favorite. It literally lasts you forever. Like, it comes with a silicone spatula, and I actually just tossed mine because it was you know, completely out. And it comes with a silicone spatula. You don't need that much either, and I had mine for like seven months. It's 20 bucks. It's not the most cheap item, I would say. It really changes the way my lips are, my lips felt. And when I use that, I didn't have to use a lip balm during the day. Crazy. Okay, so the one that I'm using right now is not as good as the Laneige one, but I still like to talk about it because it's really nice. And it's from Bite Beauty and it's the Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. And it looks like this. It doesn't really smell or taste as good as the <laughs> Laneige one. And I do find that I will have to use lip balm during the day if I would use this. But it's a great alternative. It's really nice to have something on your lips during the night. Especially for me, if I don't, my lips get really chapped during the night. So that's what I have on right now. And we're kind of letting that sink in right now. But we are going to go into like a daily lip balm. And this is my all-time favorite lip balm. I kid you not. Nivea. If for a pack of two, you can get it for like under $5 at like Target or Walmart or even at your local grocery store. This is so nice. I actually just purchased a new pack of two. It doesn't really have a scent, but they do have other scents available and they also have like tinted ones. I just like the original Nate, like Royal Blue Cap. I think that works great. It gives me moisture. And the big thing with lip balms is that there is a very fine line between ones that work and ones that really just dry out your lips in order to get more moisture, to use more product, therefore buy more product, therefore the company makes more money. It's a huge marketing tactic that a lot of companies use. And so other brands that I kind of noticed that with, Burt's Bees, um, I'm also, I think I'm like allergic to Burt's Bees or something because every time I use it, it makes my lips feel really weird and uncomfortable and I just don't like it. But my mom has, has mentioned that she has noticed that with EOS. I have not personally, but it's just so good to keep in mind. Um, use a lip balm that works well for you and keep an eye out and just be warned when you're trying a new lip balm. Maybe it works different for you than it does for me, but it is very important to notice if it's just if it's doing good for your lips or if it's drying it out. I'm still on the fence about, but I'm mentioning it anyways. Sometimes I wonder if it does time to dry out my lips a little more. Nivea definitely doesn't, and my my Laneige lip sleep mask is coming in the mail like at the end of the week, and I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna talk about a couple different things with lipstick. There are bullet lipsticks if you are kind of like not too familiar with makeup or whatever. Bullet lipsticks. That's what bullet li lipstick looks like. Traditional lipstick. You also have liquid lipstick. Liquid lipsticks are going to be more long wearing, sometimes more drying on the lips, unfortunately. You should also note that a great lip scrub is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't have one right now because my dog ate it. Jeffree Star's lip scrubs literally last you forever and they taste good and they're edible. Mm -mm, love them. But I need to order one because I'm out of mine thanks to my dog. So Another at-home hack is exfoliating with a dry toothbrush. That works too, but you can also get a lip scrub too. So another, so for liquid lipstick. Okay, let's go back. They usually are more drying, and that's why I mentioned a lip scrub, is that you want to exfoliate your lips. You also want to moisturize your lips before you're putting on a liquid lipstick. They do tend to be more drying on the lips, therefore you're going to see the, it's going to be an emphasis of lines on the lips, and you don't want that, okay? Nobody does. So a great drugstore type of lipstick are the Morphe liquid lipsticks. And if you peep right here, 
okay my dog decided to break down the burst this door open in this room open up a lip drawer of mine and attempt to eat some of them so he actually did eat one of my liquid lipsticks causing a huge stain on my carpet we talked about that in a previous video but he attempted to get into this one if you can tell this is a great one it retails for like 10 bucks you can often find these at ulta and you can use a coupon you can also use a discount code at like on the morphe website i like ulta more because they have a great reward system i have three shades here and they are fatty which is like this like more like rosy pink i'll do some swatches for you and you can see that that really swatches very opaque and that's what you really want. You don't want something that's going to be streaky or maybe uneven. This is the shade Virgin. It's a really nice nude color. A little more on the pinky side than my favorite, which is Schoolgirl. I love this shade. I love a more pinky lip personally, but I don't like going like pastel pink or like Barbie pink, anything like that. But look how uneven my swatches are. <laughs> but, oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. And again, they're 10 bucks. I mean, it's a good deal. Another great liquid lip. I'm really, really particular with them. I like a lot of them, but I'm not going to tell you that they're the best when they're not. So I think one of the best liquid lip formulas out there are Too Faced Melted Matte. This is Gingerbread Girl. This is the one that my dog ate. And I had to scrub my carpet for over an hour because of this, and I ordered a new one. I got this off HSN for like half off. This is the one I just have out, but I have a couple other shades. But I really like, first off, how well it applies. It is very opaque. You can see on the doe foot applicator right here, it's small enough you can get into those crevices and I don't have very big lips okay I don't get lip injections I'm not about that light I naturally don't have very big lips so it's really nice to have a smaller tipped applicator like this one where I can take it and I can draw the outline of my lip I like that a lot I think these also don't over dry my lips either which I like some that I think really overdry are Stila and Anastasia. They are beautiful, but I have noticed more intense drying with those formulas. So I'm not going to say that those are the best, but I do think Stila and Anastasia really thrive with some of their other products. I mean, Stila with the glitter and glow shadows, yes! And then, like, Anastasia, they have a great loose powder. Their brow products are amazing. Like, um, I should mention for lip liner, I don't really use lip liner. I never have really seen that it really works. Um, the only lip liner that I really have and that I really, I like, but this is the shade Rush, and it's from Urban Decay. It's their 24-7 glide-on pencils. These are really, like, popular, but, I mean... Lip liner is just not something that I purchase. I heard Morphe has some really nice ones. I'd be interested in trying those out, but I don't really have like a lip liner that I would like say, oh my god, this is the best. I think you need it. Because if it's not the best and I don't really like think you need it, then I'm not going to recommend it because I'm not going to be shady like that. I personally like bullet lipsticks more. So I like a good liquid lipstick. Probably on my wedding day, I'm going to wear a liquid lip. At least for the ceremony or something. I don't know. But I like a good um, bullet lipstick. I like how the, the creamy, I like the creamy feeling of it. And I really like how it just doesn't make your lips feel as restricted as a liquid lipstick. And that can happen with drying and whatnot. But no matter what liquid lip you use, you're going to experience drying. I should mention that a great red liquid lip, um, it's, this is a great formula. I haven't really tried other than the, this shade. But it's from Dose of Colors, and it's in the shade Date Night. I got this in a boxy charm. I remember I, I wore it one time for like eight hours at a time. And while well, it did dry down, I was able to put balm on top, and it didn't affect it. This is so beautiful. Such a classic red. So if you really want a nice red lip, I would say go with this one. Okay, so I love, like I said, I love bullet lipsticks. I have three formulas here that I just think are golden and that I would love to recommend to you. This first one is a little more expensive. Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. It's Charlotte Tilbury, and these are the Matte Revolution lipsticks. Now, I got these both in, like, the Sephora Favorites lip sets from, Ult from Sephora, not Ulta, and I really enjoy these. I have two shades. 
my favorite shade which is very victoria this is like my lip shade but better beautiful like nude rosy tone color this is like my everyday lipstick and then i have the shade bond girl which is a little deeper right here so what i like about these is that even though it says it's a matte revolution it's not drying on the lips i love that I like how creamy it is and I like how it feels like you can express yourself or you can go like this and it's not going to like wear off very easily and but it's not going to really restrict your lips like a liquid lipstick may do. I don't really want to say that because it depends on like your eating, your drinking, your talking, your expression, all that stuff. It's really like a case by case kind of thing. But the reason why I love these is that they just make me feel this bullet lipstick is going to stay on my lips, but it also feels flexible. And not many other lipsticks do that. I feel like a lot of lipsticks, if you put too much balm on, they kind of go away all at once. Or, you know, you drink something and they're gone. That's really not the case with these. I love these. And I would definitely recommend the Splurge. I, they are a little more expensive. They're 34 bucks. I did not purchase those, like, individually full size. I got them in sets. But if you do want a really nice, like, um, I was going to say liquid lipstick, <laughs> a nice bullet lipstick, I would definitely recommend the Charlotte Tilbury ones. They are definitely worth the splurge. And when Sephora has, like, their VIB sales or anything like that, or if you have, like, a gift card, maybe go for it. Another great lipstick. I only have one. But every time I wear it, I am just so impressed. And it's from Morphe. And it's this is the shade Fling. And this is a matte. It's a nice, like, kind of berry rosy toned. And what I like about this matte, you know, whenever I see, like, matte on a lipstick, I often get, like, ooh, I don't know, because, you know, there are so many matte liquid lipsticks out there that are just so drying and whatnot. So when I see matte bullet lipsticks, I'm like, ooh, I don't know, I'm just maybe going to stay away. Like, don't mind me. That's not it with this one. It's matte. Yes. It's not really drying. I love that. These are 10 bucks and I want to get more shades of these. They're so pretty. I'm trying to not spend money. I think that they're great and I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you're, they sell these at Ulta as well. So if you're in an Ulta, swatch them out, see the color. They have a really nice shade range, but I feel like they could definitely expand a little more. Same with the liquid lipsticks from Morphe. But if you want a good, nice, cheap um, lipstick, Morphe is where it's at. These ones, oh my gosh, I love these. These are from ColourPop and they are just, I think they're just their lipsticks. They don't really have a name. I don't know if it's like their lipstick Lux or anything like that. Um, we're, I'm actually gonna look it up right now. Be the wrong information. Um, they're liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. I notice that they are a little drying. They do, they do have like these lipstick Lux, and they're kind of like in a smaller tube. I have not tried those, so those may be different. And I'm curious about that. So we're gonna go into lips. Oh, yeah, it just says lipstick. So these are just the ColourPop. Oh, they're the cream creme Lux lipstick. Interesting. Okay. So these are the cream creme Lux lipsticks. And these, like this one is from the Disney Designer Collection. This is just in the shade Jasmine. This was just the first one I pulled out. Um, but these are $8 a piece. These two are from the Frozen collab. Um, I have a review on the Frozen Collection. I'll link that down below for you. Okay, these are great. I love these. I love how creamy they are. I love the color versatility. Everything is here with these lipsticks and I definitely recommend them. I don't believe that they are available at Ulta. They are available on the ColourPop website. I, I love gloss. These are all my favorite glosses and more. Ah! I'm gonna go right back on the hop, right back on the ColourPop train. We had to take a video break because uh, I had to go walk my dog. But we're back and we're talking about lip gloss now. Yes, we're hopping on the ColourPop train again. And I love ColourPop glosses. These are called the Ultra Glossy Lips. This is what I love most. I think there's a couple other gloss formulas from ColourPop. I like the Ultra Glossy Lip. Big thing with me about lip gloss, I don't like it to be sticky. I like a good glittery gloss, but I don't want to feel it on my lips. Also, with really glittery, metallic -y glosses, sometimes they can like almost dry down or feel plasticky. I don't like that. I like a really like creamy, nice gloss that isn't going to be stringy when I open my mouth. 
and that is gloss glittery without feeling gritty. I think that the ColourPop um, Ultra Glossy Lips are fantastic. So these two are from the Frozen collection. They just have these out. Um, but this one is from, is called Head in the Clouds. It's a very nice pinky toned color. Has a little bit of like a pinky gold iridescent to it. These ColourPop glosses have like a brush applicator, but when you get them, you do need to like bend it and almost break them in because they feel like a needle. I have had that with each and every one of these glosses and it's a little annoying but for like five or six bucks, what do you expect? So this is what it looks like. Has a nice like light color to it. I really like adding them on top of other other products. Obviously, wouldn't you add a gloss on top of a lipstick? Um, I especially like adding a gloss on top of liquid lipsticks. I really like that. Um, this one is called Free Spirit. It's from the Frozen Collection. This is just like a nice creamy, no glitter gloss and then this is mythic journey it's a nice whitish clear gloss really cute this is also from the frozen collection i only have one of these and i really like it it is the dominique cosmetics lemonade gloss this is in the shade strawberry lemonade what i like about this is i just love this color first of all and it has that same kind of like creamy feel to my lips and when I wear it, I'm gonna put some on. I know I'm not wearing any lip products right now, but I like this because it also gives my lips a slight tint. More easygoing days like I am having today. I like doing a nice gloss and calling it good. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm and I like how it feels without feeling you know, too thin or too thick and goopy. I think this is a great find if you are interested in Dominique Cosmetics, this is something that I would definitely recommend picking up. Anastasia has great lip glosses. These are just a couple I have. I pulled out Vintage and Saint Tropez. What I like about these is that there are some more pigment to it, but it's a gloss, okay? And this might be good if you want a little more pigment on your lips, but you don't want to have like a full lip sticker on or anything. Now, some of these Lip, lip glosses are a little more opaque. Some of them are not. These two that I have right here are more opaque, as you can tell, versus the ColourPop one I tried earlier. There are some differences. So let me switch the Dominique Cosmetics one next to it and just kind of show you. So right here is the Dominique Cosmetics one. Has a little bit of a sheen, but this one is obvious. The Anastasia ones are obviously more opaque, and I like those for if I'm doing maybe... I just want a little bit of gloss or something like that. I think the Anastasia ones work well for that. And it's a nice formula all in all. Like I said before, I really like that formula. Hence this whole video. I got two more formulas for you. The first one is the Too Faced High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. This is what the holiday lip gloss set was last year. I really liked it. Um, but they also have it, like this was from like their Pretty Rich collection. This is a very glittery gloss. As you can tell, very glittery, but you don't feel any glitter in the lips, and I love that. Very nice color. This is in the shade, what? Social Butterfly. Um, I really like this. I think, you know, even that with the glittery high shine sparkling lip gloss, it feels very luxe on your lips, and it makes you feel like you're wearing like a $50 lip gloss. I love it. I think that these are fantastic. Oh, I lied. I have one more after this one. Another one, you've heard me talk about these before, um, the Sweet Peach um, Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses from Too Faced. These are amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, they don't have any glitter to them. They smell like peaches. Very nice, very nice touch if I may add, you know. But another thing about these is that it gives you a little bit of a tint. It's not totally opaque like the Anastasia ones. This one's in the shade Tickle Me Peach. It's a really bright coral, right? But I'm just kind of putting it out. It's not too bad on the lips. I'm actually gonna try some on. It's not gonna go with this eye look, but. It gives you a nice little tint. It's creamy, it's moisturizing, but it's not, you know, the full heavy like lipstick or anything like that. Very creamy on the lips. I actually kind of like it with this look. Yeah, we're gonna keep this on. Um, I also have the shades Papa Don't Peach and Peach Sickle. And if you're looking for just a nice everyday 
easy gloss you can just throw on your lips no lipstick or liner required definitely go for these i think you can get them at both ulta and sephora they also have like little peach peaches on the top how cute are they i love them okay oh my goodness love them wow okay last one you've definitely heard me talk about these and i have to say these are awesome and they're the Fenty Gloss Bombs. This is just in the holiday set. I like keeping them in the tin because I feel like it just looks so fancy and I love it. Big thing with these, they smell amazing. Okay, this is in the shade Pretty Please. The doe foot is pretty big. Not the worst thing in the world though. Um, when you wear these, I mean, a I think almost all of them have, if not all of them, have insane amounts of glitter. Like this, these... Like, it doesn't even show up on camera how glittery it is. Like, in real life, it's like, bam, in your face. Why I like that, this, is because it's so glittery, so shiny, but you're, when you put it on your lips, it looks so juicy and plump and gorgeous, and it just makes your lips look so effortlessly beautiful. Yeah, you could say that about the other ones, but I love the more, it almost has, I don't know, it almost has like a gel, more jelly-like consistency ever so slightly. I like this because I just, I love the way it makes my lips look and you don't feel the, gl the glitter either. These are all of my favorite lip gloss formulas, lip stick formulas, lip balm formulas. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments below. I am so interested to hear what you guys think is awesome and what you guys love the best. I love hearing all about it. So if you have a favorite or let me know what your favorite is, no matter what the price range is, whether you paid a dollar or $75 for it, you know. If you wouldn't pay $75 for lip gloss, that is outrageous. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I am so happy that, you know, I get to share my favorites with you. It's so fun, and I want you to do the same to me, so leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to read them, try them out eventually when um, things are a little better in the whole quarantine world. And yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!